A Portland artist accused of trying to pass off his own paintings as masterpieces at 11 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Ann State. Our Chris Holmstrom is looking into this story tonight. He is joining us here in the studio with, wow, it's kind of a crazy story. Oh, it sure is. And the buyers thought they were actually getting one of the original pieces from Mark Toby. This is actually one of them right here. Well, investigators believe that they were forgeries. We got a hold of documents from the FBI detailing what they say they found inside Larry Olvey's Northwest Portland apartment. 150 suspected fake paintings, art supplies of the same material as those paintings, and papers that showed someone practicing signing Mark Toby's name. Toby, an abstract artist known around the world. He worked out of Seattle starting in the 1920s and died in the 1970s. Mark Toby is an artist that you've always had to watch out for. I tracked down Portland art curator Jeffrey Yon to learn more. He tells me Toby's work has only become more popular since the rise of yoga and Buddhism. It's not like it was in the 50s where it was kind of an avant-garde thing to be interested in Eastern philosophy. Um, uh, it's very mainstream now. But he has had his own style, which Jan believes makes him a target for forgers. When you have work like that that has a signature style, it's easy to ape a signature style. So how were the suspected fakes discovered? Well, in 2013, a buyer in California had an expert check out the paintings he says he bought from Olvi. Well, they turned out to be fake. Agents then tracked down a Seattle art dealer who says they bought paintings from Olvi. Those also turned out to be fake. Now agents are trying to get access to his southeast storage unit and safety deposit to see if there's more evidence there. I tried reaching out to Olvi at his home, but no answer. Of Olvi, just got this mugshot of Olvi into the Coin Six newsroom. He was arrested today. Right now, he's charged with mail and wire fraud. But of course, we'll continue following this case and let you know what happened. I mean, this just seems like a movie in a way. This is what yeah. movies are made out of. That's exactly what me and my photographer Jonathan thought. Seems like a movie. Yeah, okay. like an art mystery. But it's not. Well, I'd love to see what's in that storage unit when they finally get access to it. Definitely. Okay, more to yeah. come. Thank you, Chris. It's been a